What's up, what's up, what's up, my fitness family? Brent Casper here with BKPT, Brent Casper Personal Training. And I know you're here because you know how often you need to change up your strength training program. And that's what I'm here to tell you. You got it? All right. But before I go into this, you know what you guys need to do. Come on, hit that subscribe button. Give me some love. Hit that notification bell. That way you're notified as all my new content is dropped. And then also, give me some love, man. Show me some likes. All right. And then pop in the comments any questions you have along the way. So, what happens? You have hit a plateau. You're not getting any stronger. Are you wasting your time? Yes, you're wasting your time. So you're going to the gym right now, doing the same weight, same program, with no results, and that is a recipe for disaster. You wanna know why? Because who wants to go to the gym? Who wants to work out every day and not get stronger? And not get results, not dropping body fat, not gaining muscle. Yes, it's insane. And sometimes you're like, you sit there and you look at it and you're like, wait, wait a second, something's gone, something's wrong here. Something needs to happen. You're right, something does need to happen. First off, are you journaling? Are you logging what you are doing while you are there? Are you following a specific program to get you where you need to go? Or did you just kind of, Scroll through Muscle Fitness, Shape Magazine, whatever it is, Men's Health, and just pick a program you think is going to work for you because, you know, for Wesley Snipes, it worked for, you know, whoever whoever your favorite movie star is or favorite exercise person is or, what you know, your neighbor or whoever. But... You have specific goals and you need a specific program to get your specific goals met. And once you find that program and once you are reaching for your specific goals, you need to make sure you're logging what you're doing, weights, reps, if you're making it for all eight repetitions or 10 repetitions at that weight, or if you're failing before it, or you know if you've been hitting that certain weight range for X number of you know days, weeks, months, years. So hopefully you're not wasting years upon your life, but it happens. I've seen it. No big deal. It's not a big deal. Guess what? You're here now. It's time to learn when to change up your program. It's time to understand a little bit more about you know strength training and you know whether you're trying to lose weight or whether you're trying to just get bigger. It's all about your program. It's all about how you eat, what you eat to make those gains. And it's all about journaling everything along the way. You got me? So right there in that first little bit are massive nuggets that are going to make massive changes if you're not doing them already. So make sure if you are working a program for your needs, then and you're not journaling, start journaling. Start there. Because that way you can at least say like, oh man, I've been making reps the whole time. I should have been going up. And you might have been able to be getting stronger before even changing it up. But once you've hit that plateau for a week or two weeks, so typically two-week plateaus, um, and you're eating properly to make the changes that you're trying to make, getting stronger. So if you're doing everything right and you've hit a plateau, there are several different ways to change up your workout regimen. There's a couple techniques that I use that are for a one week period. And there's a couple techniques that I use for a two to three week period um, for kind of just shaking it up a little bit, rebooting your central nervous system, you know, obviously shocking the system. So I'll go through the first way first. It's called cumulative repetitions. So cumulative repetitions are when you do something for one rep, then two reps, then three reps, then four reps, then five reps, then six reps, so on and so forth to 21 repetitions, right? So typically when I work with somebody and I'm telling them what to use weight-wise, I choose a weight that they could typically do for anywhere between like 30 to 50 repetitions at once. 
right? So you take that weight and you start off. And I'll have them do two exercises and they're normally opposite body parts. So it'd be a bench press and a, you know, a bent over row. <clears throat> I'm just giving you for instances. So, uh, or it could be a squat and a stiff like a deadlift or something, you know, something along those lines. So it's opposing muscles. And you would start off going one rep, one rep, two reps, two reps, three reps, three reps, four reps, four reps, all the way to 21 repetitions. I want you guys to do the math. How many reps is that? So you're not taking any breaks. Your breaks are from when you set down the weight there to picking up the weight for your next exercise. So you're going to do two exercises. That is your workout. Next day, same thing. You can do your splits, whether it's like upper body, lower body, and just kind of move through that. This workout would be done for one week. One week would be enough to shock your body moving back into the program that is working for you, getting you the results. Okay? So workout number two. This one's done typically for a three-week span. So you will take a power exercise, which is like a deadlift, squat, bench press, um, bent over row, uh, power exercise, and you'll pair it with a ballistic exercise. Ballistic exercise would be, you know, vertical jumps, broad jumps, or long jumps, um, plyo push-ups, uh, you know, speed cable rows, or resistance band row. Uh, those are like ballistic power, super fast, um, motion exercises, and you would pair it with the exercise that is the same, but obviously you'd be doing the power with ballistics. So it'd be a squat, vert jump, deadlift, long jump, bench press, plyo push up, and you would superset those. So you'd go through your workout that you normally do. You'd pick probably three to four exercises, and then you would add the ballistic right after it. Okay. So that one you would do typically for two to three weeks, typically three weeks. <clears throat> the third program that I do for doing a system reset would be, I call it the thousand rep club, right? No, it's not a thousand reps in one exercise. So typically I have same thing. I bust this one up, either push pull or I bust it with like a um, front of your body, back of your body or um, upper body, lower body splits. And I would do, 200 reps, so I would do 100 reps of five exercises and go through it twice. So in essence, you'd be doing a thousand reps, right? And this one you could do also for one week. It's a pretty you know extensive program. Um, same thing, you'd be choosing a weight that hits about 30 to 50 repetitions, and you would use that for the entire duration of the 100 repetitions. Um, the fourth way to do it, and, and I'm sure there's more ways out there, but these are the four that I typically use with my face-to-face -face or online clients, just helping them do a reset, moving back into a, a program that is working towards their goals, um, would be working a program backwards. So starting off with, you know, isolation movements, working into the compound joint movements, which is ob obviously the complete opposite of what I preach and teach. So... You know, you'd be working isolation movements such as like your chest flies, curls, triceps, lateral raises, ex leg extensions, leg curls, stuff like that, moving into the compound joint movements, which in essence, you will be weaker moving into your compound joint movements, but how does that make sense, right? You'd be like, well, why would I want to be weaker going into it? It's because, A, you're trying to shock your system. So you're going to be doing isolation movements, which is drawing energy from your body, so therefore you're not going to be at your peak performance moving into what exercises you would want to be your peak performers so in essence when you move back to doing it the correct way three weeks later you're going to be stronger because of the fact that you're doing it the way you're supposed to and not in reverse i know it's mind-blowing holy smokes right I, um but this is why you know, most people hire coaches, you know, people talk about like, you know, in your business, in your, in the, in your normal life stuff, you try to come up with solutions for problems. So a lot of times people will have problems with their workout programs, with their nutrition programs, with certain things that are going on. And what are they not doing? 
They're not coming up with solutions for it because it's not a focus of theirs. Well, you know, like, oh, I'm going to the gym. I'm doing good. I'm all right. You know, I'm you know, making it for my sessions. I'm doing all I'm supposed to do. But, yet yeah, I'm not receiving results. But something, something's wrong. But it's okay. It'll, it'll fix itself. Why does anything ever fix itself? Seriously. So that's why you want to do your reach outs. You want to make sure that, hey, I'm not wasting my time. Because time is valuable. You don't get time back. You don't get years back on your life. If you're, you know, I mean, like you can't rewind it and, you know, be like, man, if I would have started this, you know, three years ago, but guess what? You can start it right now. All you got to do is find the right coach that's speaking to you. And if it's me, it's me. If it's not, it's not, you know, it's not like no harm, no, no harm, no foul. But at the same time, you want to make sure that you are challenging yourself and taking it serious enough to take yourself to the next level. Cause you want to get stronger. You want to get, you know, leaner. You want to get whatever it is you're trying to achieve. So that way, at the end of the day, you're not wasting your time. Because that's what it's all about, right? Not wasting your time. So you want to make sure the program is designed for you and it's not a cookie cutting program. You want to make sure that you're making the changes when you need to be making the changes. And you want to make sure you're increasing your challenge level, which, which is the resistance you're putting against your muscles. Oh, I know. Guess what? You're doing body weight exercises. It doesn't matter what you're doing. As long as you know how to make the right increases, how do you increase your body weight exercises when you're leaning out? Guess what? Do more. Do more repetitions. Reduce the amount of rest you have. Pair it with things that are going to tax it more. There's tons of ways to challenge yourself, right? But if you're not thinking about them, guess what? You're, in essence, wasting your time. Who wants to waste their time? A back to square A. So please don't waste your time. Journal your stuff. When you hit a plateau, once you've been journaling your weights and you've seen that you've hit the plateau, when you add one of these elements in it that I just taught you, so that way you can make faster, ch faster changes, getting back into a program that's designed for your specific needs. And guess what? You are going to be a beast, and I love it. So pop in the comments that all this makes sense. Pop in the comments if you wanna work with me and you say, hey, you know what, I won't do this on my own anymore. I wanna make sure that I have somebody there in my corner designing this stuff, making sure that everything's happening in the right way, all right? Because I got tons of different hacks, whether it's traveling nutrition guides, whether it's you know eating out, whether it's eating in, whether it's prepping food. If you haven't checked out a lot of my stuff on my channel, I got hundreds and hundreds of videos in there for you. So don't get lost in my playlists because at the end of the day, I know that you know what people are hungry for and I try to teach what my clients are asking me to you so that way you get a little taste, a little feel before you even get to work with me, all right? Hopefully this stuff makes sense. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you have, guess what you gotta do? Yes, subscribe, baby. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, mash that notification bell where you're notified as all my new content is dropped. And show me some love, man, give me some likes. And that way I know that this is hitting home for you and you know, obviously it's helping you. So that's what it's all about, all right? Brett Casper, BKPT, signing out. All right, see you in the next video.